Did you know that Canadian provinces have their own immigration programs? Yes, it's true. Each province, with the exception of Quebec and Nunavut, has an opportunity to cherry-pick individuals from around the world who can contribute to their economy and social fabric. This is possible through the Provincial Nominee Programme, or PNP for short. Under this unique programme, provinces and territories can invite a certain number of candidates to apply for nomination to settle within their borders, but it's not a solo act. The Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada, known as the IRCC, shares the responsibility for immigration with the provinces. Each year, the IRCC allocates a specific number of nominations to provincial governments, who then use this allocation to nominate those candidates they believe are most likely to economically establish within their province. Now, isn't that fascinating? But it gets even more intriguing. Let's delve into the recent PMP results from three Canadian provinces, British Columbia, Saskatchewan and Prince Edward Island. Stay tuned. Let's begin with British Columbia, which hosted multiple PNP draws in October. The province extended an invitation to over 152 candidates in the BC Provincial Nominee Programme. British Columbia held four separate draws, the largest of which was a general draw. This means no specific occupation was targeted. It encompassed candidates from the skilled worker, international graduate and entry-level and semi-skilled streams. The required Minimum Skills Immigration Registration System, or SARS, scores varied with skilled workers needing a score of 111 international graduates requiring 113 and entry-level semi-skilled candidates needing a score of 91. The remaining three draws were more specific, targeting skilled worker and international graduate candidates with work experience in certain occupations. All of these candidates needed a score higher than 60. The focus was on early childhood educators and assistants, healthcare professionals and other priority occupations. British Columbia kept the momentum going with four targeted draws on October 24th, inviting candidates from the skilled worker and international graduate categories. The largest draw of this day was specifically for candidates with a tech occupation. Over a hundred candidates were invited with a minimum score of 90. The other three draws were quite similar to the previous week, requiring a minimum score of 60 and focusing on early childhood educators and assistants, healthcare professionals and other priority occupations. That sums up the October PMP results for British Columbia. Let's move on to Saskatchewan. Next, we venture to Saskatchewan, which held its first draw since August. This province, known for its wide open prairies and bustling cities, invited a total of 99 candidates under two distinct categories in its latest provincial nominee program draw. In the first category, called the Occupations in Demand, the province extended 40 invitations. This category is specifically designed for individuals with skills that are in high demand within Saskatchewan's labour market. It's a unique opportunity for candidates whose skill sets align with the province's economic needs to secure a nomination for permanent residence. The second category is the Express Entry category, where 59 invitations were issued. This category is part of the Federal Express Entry System, which manages applications for three of Canada's main economic class immigration programs. Saskatchewan uses the Express Entry System to find candidates who may be a good fit for its labour market. One interesting aspect to note is that the draw was targeted at specific National Occupation Classification, or NOC, codes. These codes are used to categorize and describe jobs in the Canadian labor market, and by targeting specific codes, Saskatchewan ensures that the candidates it invites are a good match for its labor market needs. Now, regardless of the category, all candidates were required to have educational credential assessments. This assessment is a way to verify that a candidate's foreign degree, diploma, certificate, or other proof of credential is valid and equal to a Canadian one. In terms of scoring, all candidates needed a minimum score of 84. This score is based on factors such as age, education, work experience, language proficiency and ties to the province, among others, and that's the latest from Saskatchewan. Now, on to Prince Edward Island. Finally, we travel to Prince Edward Island, which held a PNP draw in mid-October. Amidst the rolling hills and charming lighthouses, the province is making strides in welcoming new residents through the provincial nominee program. Prince Edward Island extended an invitation to 102 Labour and Express entry candidates. 
The categories of candidates considered were quite interesting. They primarily focused on critical workers and express entry invitations were handed out to individuals who are currently employed by a PEI employer. It's clear that the island province is keen on retaining talent who are already contributing to its economy. The minimum expression of interest or EOI score required for these invitations was 55. This score is considered moderate and shows that PEI is interested in a broad range of potential new residents, not just those with the very highest scores. But that's not all. The province also extended an invitation to two entrepreneurial spirits through the business and entrepreneur stream. The minimum EOI score for these invitations was a bit steeper, standing at 80. It's a clear signal that the province values innovation and business acumen. Looking back over the past 12 months, Prince Edward Island has invited a total of 2,464 candidates through the Labour and Express stream. These invitations represent a whopping 97% of all invitations sent out by PEI over the past year. It's evident that the province is committed to growing its workforce and contributing to the Canadian economy, and that completes a tour of the most recent PNP results. Now, let's recap what we've discussed today. We've delved into the Provincial Nominee Programme, an initiative where Canada's provinces and territories, excluding Quebec and Nunavut, invite a set number of candidates to apply for nomination to settle within their province. British Columbia, for instance, held multiple draws throughout October, inviting over 152 candidates from various streams, including skilled workers, international graduates, and entry-level and semi-skilled streams. The province also targeted specific occupations, notably early childhood educators and assistants, healthcare and other priority occupations. Saskatchewan, resuming its draws this October, extended invitations to 99 candidates, primarily in the occupations in demand category and the express entry category. These candidates spanned specific national occupation classification codes and all required educational credential assessments. Prince Edward Island, on the other hand, invited 102 Labour and Express Entry candidates with a focus on critical workers and those working for a PEI employer. The province also invited two candidates through the business and entrepreneur stream. We also discussed the shared responsibility for immigration between Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC, and the provinces. Each year, the IRCC allocates a certain number of nominations to provincial governments, which they use to nominate candidates most likely to economically establish within the province. This allocation process is based on a province's population, the number of newcomers who arrive each year and the rate of retention. The IRCC also seeks feedback from the provinces and territories to better understand their immigration and economic needs and adjust the number of nominations as needed. Thank you for joining me today. Stay tuned for more updates on Canada's Provincial Nominee Programme.